introducing its unique brand of restaurant service to the rest of Asia. Japan's Made Cafe Pinafore is looking for business partners to open outlets in the region. Made Cafe Pinafore is one of more than 300 exhibitors featured at this year's World SME Expo, where entrepreneurs can get the latest market insights and tap new opportunities, many of those to be found at the Start a Business Pavilion. At the heart of the Start a Business Pavilion are numerous franchising opportunities, from lifestyle services to catering, international brands offer the chance for entrepreneurs to go into business. First-time exhibitor Anytime Fitness from the U.S. is expanding its special brand of health center in Asia. I would say that we're the only what we call neighborhood fitness center that really exists around the world right now. Much like you've got 7-Eleven on the street corners, we're kind of the 7-Eleven of fitness. We view Asia as an important region of the world and we want to be well established here in the next five years. Another U.S. exhibitor caters to the growing Asian silver market, especially in China. Home Instead Senior Care is a, the world's largest non-medical provider of senior services or in-home care services for the elderly. As the uh, economy seems to be growing here, uh, there's a demand for both aging parents to be working. Uh, so they uh, may have a loved one at home, but nobody able to look in on them. So we can provide that. Yeah, we're very interested in China, but we want to make sure that uh, Hong Kong, as I said, our gateway, we want to make sure that our services are can be successful in this market, and if, if we can prove that, and we believe that, uh, very strongly that we can, that uh, we can then have a model to go towards the Chinese market. One business that has proven that model successful is Japan's Shape Up House. CEO Akemi Shimomura set up Miss Paris Group, the company's first health and beauty center outside Japan in Hong Kong three years ago, and since opened her first Chinese mainland salon in Shanghai. We operate 324 salons in Japan and have many Chinese girls. They urged us to open salons in Hong Kong and China. I thought it would be difficult to set up business in China, so I decided to come to Hong Kong first, where there are many different nationalities. We have learned a lot in Hong Kong, for example, what kind of treatments and services Chinese guests enjoy. I think it's much easier to enter China through Hong Kong because of the city's tax advantages and other benefits.